right. So, hey guys, thank you so much for hopping on. Um, I think, okay, yeah. Um, so, Hal and Lindsay Weiss, they were actually in the shift shop test group. And um, they're really good friends of ours, and we've really kind of gotten to know them. Is she taking a picture like right now? She's not, is she? You know she is. <laughs> it's not going to be posted time. like this. It's not going to be posted this moment, but we're no, okay I, won't, I won't post it. <laughs> um, but they they have a great story. They're really good friends of ours, um, and they have a really good story, partly because of their very hectic life. Um, so anyways, I'm going to pass it on to them. I'm going to mute myself and they'll introduce themselves and um, kind of share a little bit about their their um, journey, as well as what we can expect from Shift Shop. So all yours, guys. Oh, great. Do you want me to start or do you want to start? I'll, I'll let you start. Ladies first. Hi, I'm Lindsay. Um, I am... I've been with Beachbody for like six years and I'm a 11 star diamond coach and I've been elite four times. Um, and I've never missed success club ever since I signed up. Um, and I, um, I've been in a couple test groups, which was awesome. But what happened was, um, um, here in Arizona, we're in Arizona and we're part of the Phoenix market council. So we, like run the ship when it comes to super Saturdays. And because of that reason, Hal got an invitation to be a part of the shift shop test group. Um, so if you're like, how do I get in a test group? I know that they pay a lot of attention to things like that and, and, um, contributions and, and social media. And sometimes it's just random picks from what I understand. So that's kind of how this all started. And quite honestly, I'm unofficial. Um, I'm not in the group. I am just, I just had access to everything, the meal plan, the workouts, the, the discs, the markers. Um, and I was like, I, I should probably do this with him. Right. <laughs> and, um, we were with some friends right after the success club trip and they were like, uh, she's like, if you don't do it, I will marry him for three weeks and I'll do it. <laughs> so you better do it. So I was like, okay, okay. So that's how this whole journey began. Um, so I guess the question is, do you guys have questions for us or do you, how do you want, like, what would you, do you want him to explain his experience with it? You're asking questions. I'll go now. So yeah. I'm, I'm okay. Just share your story and, and all your dad. All right, so on the other half, I'm Hal Weiss. Um, so I've been a coach for, I don't even know how long, like five years, six years. We, I signed up under her. Um, just power couple, just like Jacqueline and Kenny. You know, I, you know, I support her. Uh, I've, most of, for a while there, a lot of her diamonds were actually my friends. So we always laugh because people are like, are. you're only a diamond? And I'm like, yeah, but all my, di all my, my diamonds are under my wife because you know we're smart like build one <laughs> so um that's kind of our, our story we're, we're twin parents so our kids are four-year-old boys so obviously any of your you know multiple kids we feel you um my job i work a 50 hour a week plus job i travel a lot so uh, for my for my work i'm actually my career profession is i'm a senior project manager for a national construction firm. And I'm one of the guys that heads up the industrial slash cold storage market for them. So I get to travel a lot, big, big, build big boxes that are usually very, very cold. So that's my like life story and everything. Um, so like Lindsay said, he says travel a lot. We're talking every other week, like a lot. It's ridiculous how much he travels. Yeah, I'm usually on the road about two to three days every other week at least. So, and, and sometimes it'll go every week for a stretch and I'll, I might get to stay home. Like I've been able to stay home for about three weeks now. So I'm kind of excited because two of my jobs are ending. So awesome. Um, so yeah, like Lindsay said, uh, went to Punta Cana with everybody, got to work out with Chris, absolutely loved the workout. And, you know, if you guys have done the test workouts, I hope you enjoy them. The sneak peeks. There's one on Monday too. By the way, there's one on Monday. If you haven't noticed yet, it's July 3rd. They're gonna have a sneak peek for, for Shift Shop. 
I don't know what program it is yet. They just keep telling us that it's coming. So um, went to uh, Dominican, absolutely loved Chris, loved the positive. Like Chris is just such a different dynamic than the coaches we currently have. They're awesome. Chris is awesome. The difference I see, Chris definitely promotes, like speaks and does more of a personal development type of coaching through the video and what he does and how he is than a lot of the other ones. No comparison. They're all smart. They're all great. You're going to find your soulmate in one of the Beachbody programs for me. Definitely loved it. Definitely loved the personal development aspect that Chris kind of brought to the workouts because hello, I haven't worked out since high school. Okay. My story, I played football. I wrestled in high school. I weighed between 210 and 220 for three years in high school. Um, bench, did all that. You know, I, I, I lifted, I weight, I weight trained, I worked out as a fiend. Blew out one of my knees. Um, pretty bad. My other one's, you know, was barely needing surgery. So after that, I kind of fell off the workout wagon. Just didn't like do, you know, couldn't do it. Didn't like being in pain. So stopped. Went through college. After college, dating Lindsay, working like I do. I went up to 310 pounds. So I got big. Um, yeah, for me. I think that was part of we we. So I have an autoimmune problem. Uh, called PCOS, and it's um, been a nightmare ever since I learned about it. <laughs> it's, I swear, part of it's because I just know it. Um, but I found out at 30, was it 30, 29 or 30 years old? I had no idea until I was 29 or 30. And we were almost two years married at that point, and I was a brand new coach. Um, and I um, had lost a lot of weight, I lost 70 pounds actually. Um, but it explained the weight struggle that I had all my life. Cause I didn't understand, like, I mean, I could eat you guys. Like it's sad how well I can eat. And I'm still like very, very slow process for me. Um, so I ended up on an infertility battle. Well, we ended up on an infertility battle and through that, and then through after, uh, treatment, after treatment, after treatment, hormones, injections, like everything you could think of. And then of course, the depression that comes with that whole process um, that he, I believe you gained the weight through that because then I got pregnant with the twins and, and we ate a lot of cheeseburgers. <laughs> that was, was what she craved. There was, there, well, gourmet cheeseburgers. They were high class. I remember Chick-fil-A being closed on Sunday. Yeah. And being mad about that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, a new so, Chick Fil A opened up by the house, and we went there Friday night for dinner to try it out. She liked it. Saturday night, she craved it again. We went again. <laughs> she liked it. Sunday morning, I left to do a um, a three D shoot, and I get a phone call from her going, "You'll never guess where I'm at." I go, "I hope not Chick Fil A because it's closed on Sundays." She, all, all you hear is, and pardon my French, shit. <laughs> I get hung up on. I go, "Well." So through that though, then what was, you could walk, turn to you're on bed rest, turn to you're in the hospital, in and out, in and out, in and out, turn to you are a human incubator right now. Your workouts and all your beach body stuff can get on hold until these kids get here. And they were top priority to me. I'd been following Shalene's whole push uh, uh, goal. And that was the push goal was to create a family. And then I had the whole infertility facing me. So there was a lot of mental struggle there. And then all of that, I believe your weight gain came from that because even when they were born, like the whole level of stress that comes with twins is like no sleep. I mean, you obviously know no ba a new baby needs no sleep for a while and NICU time and just him traveling like he was doing the travel thing. He was traveling like when I was on the on the edge of being due in the hospital and it was just so much stress and there was so I believe there I, I know for me when I gave birth like I gained a hundred pounds through that experience and that was um really hard but they're here, they're healthy, and I've lost 70 of it. Um, and then, anyway, so he, that's where he- Can I go back to telling my story? Yeah. Okay. So I topped at 310, obviously. And um, yeah, but 
that it, it's life. Life happens to all of us. And, and the biggest credit she can take is like throughout life happening, she showed up to her business every day, which is really cool guys. Like that's the thing about Beachbody. She was able to show up to it pregnant on bed rest and she still showed up. The day she had the kids, she signed a coach. I mean, if you really want to know the truth, and like we still laugh at that every now and then. Like, yep. So um, I think I cared more about having a laptop in the hospital. Yeah, you did. Bag. Yeah. Can I have my can I have my iPad? Yeah. <laughs> so um, so the fun I, I I got I I, I kind of ballooned um, and just didn't like working out. So the kids came and I had that new repurposed goal of trying to get healthier for the kids. Um, but I didn't want to work out. I know there's people that feel me on that one. Like that just wasn't my jam. So, cause I traveled, I ate out. I, I just couldn't figure out how to work out, but we, you know, but we knew this was a good program and I knew that working, like I knew Shakeology worked. So I just committed to drinking it every day and just kept drinking it, you know, 365 or type stuff that just kept drinking it and doing it and drinking it and all that stuff. So weight slowly came down obviously my workout was running around with twins trying to keep boys going and everything and trying to be act more active than just sedentary but not you know I just wasn't working out so kept drinking my shake and I, I kept going down and losing weight and losing weight we moved to Arizona uh, which is another fun story because I worked for corporate America and they told me in April to go interview for a job uh, I went on Thursday interviewed for the job at the local branch here got it went to the bank on Friday, bought a house on Saturday, flew back to Chicago on Sunday, 30 days later, we moved to Arizona. Like it literally was that by June, we were all out here and we interviewed for the job in late April. So really kind of a fun story and cool story, but at the same time, wow, when you have not even a year, were they, were they a year? 15 months. 15 month old twins. Thank God they come and pack your stuff up and move you out here. Yeah. But it's true what they say. If you have stuff in your garbage can, they just pack it. So, um, but yeah, did that. And then fast forward now after I lost some of that weight and everything, I got asked to do the test, the, the test group for shift shop. Um, honored because I really loved Chris and really wanted to do it. So I commit to things. So I committed to it and I did two rounds of it. Um, most of my results are from the first round. Absolutely loved it. It is the program itself. I describe it as it is very, anybody can do the workouts. They're not, they're not. Um, I love Tony and, and, and Autumn and all those guys, but like P90X sometimes freaks people out because Tony's up there doing pull ups during workouts. This is all like football, calisthenics type stuff. So anybody can do them. And when I say that, I, I will sit there and say that in the test group, uh, some of my friends, one of them has MS and is doing and did the test group and killed it and did all the workouts. We have people in there that a couple of the guys, like we were laughing, three of us did a call and at our heaviest, I was the lightest one at 310. The other one was 330 and I think the other guy was topping at over 400 when he started his weight loss journey. All of us have been getting healthy with beach riding. None of us were at that weight when we started this, the shift shop, but it was like, wow, anybody can do this. You really opened your eyes to that. We had every shape, every size. We saw the, the, the girls like Jacqueline who will struggle to lose two pounds in 21 days to the guys that could sit there and go, we're three, you know, they were three something and go, yeah, they lost 30 pounds in 21 days. It, it's just an amazing program and yeah. the, the workout aspect. Chris is really, like I said before, he is super uh, positive and he's super personally developed. So it really comes through in his programs to like, he wants to help you. He's going to tell you that you can do this. He's going to show you, he's going to, he's an encourager. So really cool. And like I said, the, the workouts being the way they are, it didn't scare me. And I, you know, I'm one of those guys that can get scared at workouts when you're like, when you start out and things called insanity and Sean, you know, and it's Sean T that shows up on your screen. You're like, Holy geez, Chris is a phys, you know, you look at him and he is physically impressive, but at the same time, the workouts were like, I can do this. We got this starting out at 25 minutes. It was like, this is awesome. You got a great workout in 
And the meal plan, I think from my perspective, I loved it. I, I'm a carb fanatic. I love my, I'm, I'm Italian from Chicago. I love pasta. I love anything like give me all the carbs, Oreos, like anything. So I'm like three weeks of no carbs and it's not, it's, that's not what it is. It's you're, you're going to cycle. And yeah, it's kind of carb cycling. It's, I would say it's cycling. It's not, you're not giving this stuff up. And realistically, I didn't, I really didn't miss it. And I, and I did really well on the program without it. Like I didn't, I was able to do my workouts. There's different things. you would kind of have to figure it out, right? Like, okay, whereas program there, he's recommending like, you know, blueberries and he's recommending, um, I don't know, fish or whatever for your breads. And so at least it gives you like a real nice guideline, um, um, for week one, two and three, because every week is different. You're eating differently every week. You're, um, full, plan week one is I think including all the carbs but I, I don't know and it's, 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 di it it's different and you're gonna you'll figure it out the nice thing is is guys it's very similar to 21 day fix there's containers you'll be able to figure out what's included what's not included and how to eat so do and not stress over this like we all ate really good we all ate really healthy I don't think too many people out of the 300 of us that did this um we're really sitting there going, we're, we're deprived. And, you know, that's, that's saying something. I mean, if people are deprived, they'll usually complain and whatnot. Um, it was really a po you know, it's been positive and it's been a great experience. Uh, what else do we want to talk about? The markers, when you get them, the thing that we did, and I know it's kind of a cool, odd, I, I guess, uh, a lot of us did it. Uh, we put inspirational things or goals or dreams on, on all of our markers, affirmations, affirmations whatever you, whatever you're wanting to put there. Cause you, you'll learn when you're doing the program, you're going to, you know, that's, that's kind of something you're, you're doing and it's really symbolic. So we did that and loved it and kind of had a whole bunch of our stuff on there. The, the point of the affirmations, the point is when you're doing the workouts, like you're using the markers for every cardio workout. So every speed workout, speed 25, 35, 45 and 50, the markers are a staple in the workout. And so the purpose, and this is where his, his personal development does come into play is you are right on the, on the marker. Like I am strong. I am, you know, something that is meaningful to you that will help you shift to the next level in your life, business, uh, uh, fitness, you know, all those things. And so what he says through the workout in the speed cardio is he'll say, what does this mean? What does this mean? Like slap the marker. What does it mean to you? So if it says like, I'm, I can do hard things, right. And it gets hard. The workout, the workout is doable, but it's hard. He still makes it hard. And, and you're like, doing something where he had you slap the marker, you see the affirmation and he, and that's his, that is literally like what makes him so special is he brings you like to a level mentally that I've never seen a trainer do before. And if you follow him on Facebook, he's starting to get, um, live on there so you can actually experience what he's doing. Um, and, and it's really cool because so many people just those last like 
couple minutes, those last 20 seconds, they're like, oh, I'm going to die so hard. But then he says the right thing. And you're just like, I got this, like, I got this. And I'm slapping the marker and I can do this. And then you're like, I did it. And, and like, that's the same thing with cutting it when he has you cut out the carbs at the end that everyone's like, Oh my God, I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm going to starve. But like, again, that takes you to the, and he doesn't level. cut it out. He, he just, he just, you're, you're, cha you're changing. Years. So all of this, realistically, guys, the sh they call it shift shop, and it's because you're, you shift. You're shifting your mentality as far as how, you know, confidence-wise, I felt like we had a real big confidence shift and, and mentality shift. I felt that we had a physical shift in our workouts because every week is different. You're shifting your workouts. You're doing that stuff. You shift your eats, what you're eating, what you're putting in, what you're feeling in your body. You're doing research on that stuff. Um, really kind of a cool thing thing to do and, and and like I said you're shifting your food I think it also shifted our relationship like I told you guys I don't work out I never did Lindsay and I worked out pretty regularly on this program which is something I've never thought of doing with her or wanting to you know, like couples workouts like never some big for us and we did that and I think that really helped us like forge through a lot of this stuff I mean we've We've done some fun videos with it, but you know, when it gets hard and you have your, your spouse there supporting you and cheering you on too, it's, it's kind of cool. So we've, we kind of did all that. And I think that's, that's really the bottom line of it. it. It was a great, great experience. Did you have fun with it? Um, I liked it. I yeah. It was fun. <laughs> I, I actually had more fun than I thought I would on it. Like, cause like I said, having a guy that's so inspirational. Fun is like dance, but anyways, he, he um he runs his test group really uniquely that I've never seen done before where he goes live for two minutes in the morning and live for two minutes at night to empower them to get through each day, which is something that you can take note for your challenge groups. Um, um just two minutes, but it's every single day. And then on Sundays he would do like a 30 minute live of just helping them prep for the next week. We're going to take it to a whole new level. We're going to do this. And then he talks about how much greatness you have within you. This is the part where you're going to, you know, it's, this is going to happen and that's going to happen. And, and he, he does like, I'm sure he'll, because he's a newer trainer, I'm sure he'll do some lives from his Facebook page as, as the group launches out on the 24th. Um, so that was a really cool, you know, I was not in the group, but I would log in and I would go watch his videos. And She's had advice when she wants to be. Yeah, I would just log in and go watch the videos and I was, uh, it was really empowering. So um, I guess my question, or the, do you guys have any questions that you want to know about Shift Shop as, as we, as the kids are ready to launch? You can unmute yourself if you have a question. Does anyone have a question? So what, um, what all equipment do you need in order to start besides the markers? You're going to need weights. Like, and the weights I use were, I feel like I used, in the beginning it was, I feel like I use 10 pounds for the majority of the time. A couple times I use 20s, like when you're doing lower body. Um, but there's a couple moves where you're doing a lower and an upper body. And I feel like you need more like five because he's got you doing some of these things while you're doing lunges and whatnot. And um, I mean, you, it's the other thing I think is important to note. I, you need a mat too, because there's a lot of floor work. Um, but the other thing that I think is important is, is um, be so, cautious about your form with this because there is he does move pretty quick um something i noticed that in the first 25 minutes he's pretty slow and and like gives you a chance to catch up with everything but like he does move quick and some of the moves are just like whoa slow down hold on let me figure this out type of thing or whatever but like as you by day three you've got it figured out um but that was something i noticed is you could easily injure yourself with some of the moves. So just be so, and he says it over and over and over, form over speed, form over speed. The goal, if you need to modify, you modify. And some of the moves, like I had to modify because it was like, 
okay, we're not there yet, right? And it ramps up. So as you, as he adds the 10 minutes each week, he, you're now um, like, you're doing a lunge with weights and then you're also like doing a lift. So he starts to add more Then you start to lift your knee. So he, he really ramps every move up. Um, so that is, I would say a mat cause you've got abs and you've got planks and stuff like that. Um, and then the markers and then the, uh, like t five to 20 pounds, I would think. Yeah. And I, we have the adjustable ones and because you're kind of on them every once in a while, I actually went and bought a set of 20 pound regular dumbbells just yeah. because I'm a bigger guy when I'm like doing push ups on dumbbells. I, I just felt better than doing on my, uh, with yeah. select text. Yeah, so I mean, you really, other than that, yeah, he really does. It's, you can do them with fives and do the whole workout. And if you want heavier, so you can always get heavier, you know, that kind of goes, but Really, yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then how are you guys preparing to launch for this? Um, we are posting his results and my results, obviously. Um, and we created a sneak peek group. Uh, for anyone who's interested in learning about it. And then, um, I'm not going to lie, I haven't given that group a lot of energy just because of the uh, that got me really distracted, which is totally cool. But now, as we get ready, now I'm going more focused into it. Um, and I, um, we created an event as well, and we're going to do like a call next week. And will bring prospects onto the call. Um, and I'm going back and forth on whether I want to like, I think I will explain like how the package works. Um, honestly, this can like find people now and they're going to get it and it comes out on the on demand. Or he's going to have DVDs at the summit as well. I guess he's signed like 300 of them and I don't know who they're for, maybe the elite or something, but, uh, or maybe anybody, I'm not sure. But I do know he signed a bunch of actual DVDs because some people still want the DVDs. Um, so yeah, the, the game plan, I am, I haven't run any ads or anything as of yet. Um, I guess I could do that. I haven't done that though. But mainly it's just been um, using, sharing the, the video, sharing the journey, putting people into a sneak peek. So what some of the guys in the group and girls in the group have talked about too is um, kind of relaunching Sean Week before it and just having them follow their favorite meal. Just getting used to, you know, the big thing about this is, is getting used to the containers, understanding what's around. For a lot of us coaches, we know that stuff, but for your prospects or even some coaches like that don't follow that stuff, it's the meal plan. So understanding a red, a green, the purple, what that is, what that looks like is awesome. And then, you know, workouts, like I said, Sean Week, some guys want to do a hybrid of Sean Week and uh, Autumn's Chisel workouts, stuff, stuff like that for like a workout. But again, I mean, getting somebody that's just off, you know, we're trying to help people get off of McDonald's. Like we're not trying to, you know, we're trying to change the world by small attitudes. I mean, you're not, most people that come into this are not going, hey, I'm a fitness model. I want to work out at home now. Like, they're coming in here going, I just need help. So starting them off on just some, getting them to do something, like like, like I said, Sean Week was great because it's seven days, seven different workouts, get a little variety, see what's going on. Uh, I know, he, you know, they have a modifier there. It look, You know, we did, I did one or two days of Sean Week. I liked it a lot too. So, like, that sounds like a great thing the week beforehand before launch and just get people used to the containers. I think some things that you guys can do as coaches. Okay. And then how much weight have you lost? How much weight did you lose, Hal, on, I know you told me, but tell me again, how much weight did you lose? So I'm a nice round number. I lost 14 pounds and 14 inches. I lost just about 13 pounds in the, I'm sorry, the two rounds. The first round, I did about 13, I was like 12 point something pounds and about 12. I think it's important to know there is a 50. We have 25, 35, 45, and then he has 50. The 50 minute workout, which came Crazy. in round three or round two, 
uh, third week of round two, you'll see 50 and you're like, what is this? <laughs> and um, I actually liked the 50. I don't like how much time it takes with a busy life that I have, but I did like the 50. It was really, the, the, the 50 was good. The 45 was really hard. The 50 I thought was, okay, this is good. Yeah. I don't know why, but yeah, you'll find that there's all another, there's a 50. You can have a whole bunch of different, works, I, I think they're going to be doing like, I don't know if it's still up. There's going to be, he's got different, there's the straight program, which I think is going to be the three week, like round one, two, three, week one, two, three, that's, that's there. And I think he's going to give you guys some hybrids like we did just to like people that have done a round or two rounds and they want to change it up I and think, do other things. I think there's a hybrid in the, when you get the mm -hmm. calendar. So there's already. So there's going to be hybrids that he's going to show you guys and say, do this, this, and this, add a fifth, you know, a week of the craziness of do 50 minute workouts. And I feel like, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm dying to hear the answer to this because I don't know yet, but I know. I have a, f I just, I, I really can't even say this because I don't know, but I hope he's going to go live on his Facebook page as the network goes through the first round and that's, you know, starting the 24th because he's so new and he's so like, um, powerful and, 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 um, empowering, empowering is the word with his words. He has a gift with words and I'm, I wish they would let him speak at summit. I'm like he needs to speak too because I don't know if you worked out with him in uh, success on the success club trip, but that was just, it was like going to church. I mean, it was never him, but I'm hoping he goes live for everybody to experience that through those three weeks. We really are his mouthpiece guys. So like when you're doing this, when you see like, that's why we, why we're doing calls and stuff. Cause we saw great results. We had a great, you know, I thought we, we showed well with the test group and we really want to help everybody else see like, this is a great opportunity for the network and a great opportunity for us as coaches and a great opportunity because of just seeing the workouts and seeing the shifts and seeing people able to do them really is an inspiration. So I think it's just different and I think it's needed right now. So for sure. Any other great questions? We can get more specific. I just, you know, we just don't know what you guys want to hear. I think don't we're be shy. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? All right. She's running out. You think we're good? I think we're good. Yeah, my internet is acting crazy. All right. Am I breaking up? Am I breaking up? Can y'all hear me now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. If no one has any questions, thank you guys so much for taking your time, especially when the twins are not there. So enjoy it. Um, but thank you guys so much for answering and sharing your story. And thanks everyone for having hey, on. And we'll do one more plug for you. So Uncle Carl came to Phoenix last week. Carl came to Phoenix last week, right? Mm -hmm. Do a town hall meeting. Okay. Big things coming at Summit? Oh, we don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know you are about. no fun, you know that? No, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Because he was talking about big things coming at Summit. Yeah, I, yeah. So everybody should get really excited. It's coming in a few weeks. So you are no fun. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Anyways. All right. So yeah, keep an eye out, out, out with everything. Hopefully you guys are going and everybody's going, but it's uh, talking about some big ideas coming out. So we're really excited. Okay. You can tell them what kind of face. I don't, I don't know any, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> all They're <right>. all. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys. Y'all have a good night. You too. Bye. Thanks.